So Zach, um, you've uh, featured on quite a bit regularly over recent weeks. Just what's it been like for you uh, to be have been so instrumental over the start of the season? Yeah, obviously I've really enjoyed my time. Um, obviously this is my first year as a professional rugby player, so for me to get the opportunity to play is obviously all you want to do. Um, and I'm, I'm still learning from the likes of Toby, Paul Grant, Matt Garvey, Francois Lowe, just to name a few in, in that back row. We've got world-class players there, so I'm still developing and I still want to get better and playing with the likes of these players and learning from them, then and hopefully that'll happen. And uh, we've had a great start to the Champions Cup campaign with a win over Bennett. And just how do you reflect on uh, last weekend's match? Yeah, definitely. To be in the Champions Cup after the Challenge Cup last year, the boys worked really hard last season to get into this competition. So obviously we're in it now. I really want to work hard to stay in this competition. So yeah, Treviso, Benetton uh, were a world-class opposition. Uh, we knew that. Uh, we, we didn't underestimate them. And we had the mentality that we knew it would be a tough game. And we did that. And we had a really good performance. thought we were patient in our build-up. And then when the opportunity arose, we took it. So now we're pushing on to scouts obviously on Friday which will obviously be a very another tough test um, and as you mentioned Scarlet's on Friday we've got a number of guys returning uh, to the fold uh, from injury just how are the squad uh, feeling about um, the next step in the Champions Cup campaign yeah the boys are excited um, we're really excited uh, to take on a world class opposition like Scarlet's and well, like you said we had 41 boys training today so that's the most we've had all season probably even last year as well so it, there's re got real de uh, depth in our squad at the moment so it's hopefully causing a few selection issues which is a good thing so we'll put our best team out every week and that that's exciting uh, for the fans as well as well as for for the competition because we, we do believe we can go far in this competition the hard work the boys have been putting in and in terms of Scarlets, they're obviously a quality side uh, just what are you thinking uh, the team needs to look out for come week weekend yeah, definitely. Obviously, all the boys would have done the analysis on them, um, but we're, we, we're prepared for them to play from anywhere. Um, I think if you watch the last clip of Toulon, I mean, they were trying to run five metres from their own try line, and even though they had the game, uh, obviously, they had a losing bonus point. Um, so we know that they've got the ability to play, they've got really good players uh, throughout the team, like so Lee Halfpenny, um, Jonathan Davis, Jake Ball, just to name a few. So they've got a lot of threats there, and we're excited uh, to take on these boys, and that's what rugby's about getting excited uh, on a game day. and enjoying uh, being in that kind of atmosphere and, and this kind of competition.